The Much Music Video Awards returned for another year this past June and had the city of Toronto in a craze. To celebrate the MMVAs and our own homegrown Canadian talent, Anoki Pulse TV attended the Fields annual afternoon party for an exclusive afternoon of mixing and mingling with some of Canada's hottest musical talent. APTV was able to catch up with new music band Bay featuring Carl Wolf and singer-songwriters Esma and Stephanie Braganza to talk about all things music and MMVA. Check it out. So the field party, 12 years in a row, celebrating Canadian music. Tell me how it feels to be here. It feels good to be here, man. Uh, the, the surroundings, the environment, the people. Yeah. I like. We like to mingle with people. I love that I'm here with these two, first of all. <laughs> this is pretty much our first little outing with the crew, so it's yeah. good. You know, we got this new group, you know, I just started, BAE, Be All Equal. And uh, we just released a new single called I'm Lonely. Uh, we signed with Armin Van Buren, Armada Music, around the world, so it's a worldwide deal. Things are great, man. We start in Europe, and then it's going to come back, catch on here, I think, in midsummer sometime. Mid so, yeah. you know, yeah. we're doing good, man. Why do you have that name for the band? We don't differentiate with color, yeah. you know, or nationality. I was born in Beirut, Lebanon, grew up in Dubai, lived in Canada. Yeah. He's from Jamaica, she's from uh, Germany somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> We just believe that you know all people are one, you know. So we yeah. want to showcase that. It represents us perfectly, yeah. yeah. So do you think that's uh, indicative of our Canadian identity, our Canadian yeah. music, and what we are as Canadians? We're such a melting pot, and it's it's yeah. cool to showcase that. And and I don't think people do it enough. There's so much segregation in the states, and yeah. we, we yeah. realize that yeah. they pay attention to skin color so much. We don't care about that. We love each other. We're like brothers and sisters here, yeah. you know. Absolutely. And we're making beautiful music, and that's yeah. what connects us. Yeah. And I think that's what people are gonna feed off us. It's gonna be great. Stephanie, lovely to see you. I know the last time we met you was at the Mosaic Festival last year. Yeah. And you're here, you know, in the music scene at the MMVAs, the field party. There's a lot of support here for Canadian artists. Yeah. Well, tell me what it means for you to be here, part of this musical crowd with your musical journey. It feels great. Uh, I've been, you know, working in this industry, pushing my music for a lot of years. So, like, to be invited to this very exclusive party, is, it's, it's great, yeah. Tell me about your sound. I'm a, I guess, pop dance artist. have a lot of influences, like Michael Jackson to The Faint, a lot of indie influence. My music is different every single time I release something, I think so. Yeah. And do you think that helps you connect with your audiences by having such a diverse sound? Because, you know, a lot of artists always have a specific genre that they're a part of, or they have a specific instrumental or a vocal influence. You've given me a lot of, ins of inspirations that have been part of your music. When I released my first album, it was very eclectic. It had, like, R&B, it had jazz. I just realized I, I have to do, like, a little bit of everything. Tell me what it means for you to be here at the field party for the MMVAs. I'm excited for uh, to be here, network, meet a, a bunch of people, and also the event itself. A lot of artists that I respect, Ed Sheeran, is... Um, hosting, I love him, so yeah, exciting. So uh, tell me what it means for you to be out here with your colleagues, you're celebrating each other, um, a lot of up-and-coming artists, a lot of well-established artists, all coming together to really be a community. Tell me about that. I think it's amazing when artists support other artists as opposed to seeing them as competition. I'm dabbling in acting. I went to school for it and I just found recently being a part of ACTRA, for example. The union is very supportive for all its members and all the actors, you know, come together and, and help each other out. And I think that that's just more beneficial. So it's amazing. 